And now this enlarged Europe has recently come into being, 250 million people, um, doing 40% of the world's trade and therefore important to the world as a whole, important to the United States. And it is, and the relationships which are going to be between, and we've now got to find a relationship between Europe and the United States, which isn't the same as the relationship between Britain and the United States or France or Germany or any particular country of the community. It is something different. And we've got to find this. It's got a, it's got a, but it isn't only, of course, with the United States that this has to be done. This is between Europe and, uh, which is, as it were, a, a new entity brought suddenly brought into being, finding its feet, finding its sense of purpose, finding its personality. Um, now, of course, relationship uh, covers many aspects. And it so happens that in the year and years ahead, negotiations on trade and on international monetary reform are anyway with us. But the important thing, I think, is that although this is bound to throw up a good many differences between the United States on one hand and Europe on the other, and of course other countries as well. But looking at it in terms of the Atlantic relationship, this is going to throw up differences. These are going to throw up differences between us. And where I agree with uh, Dr. Kissinger is that we've got to, and I indeed have um, said this uh, frequented myself over the months that have gone by since I've been here, that we really must look at this, these differences, against the background of the political relationship that needs to exist between Europe and the United States and the many, and the many common interests that bind us, which are of much greater importance, in fact, than any differences, however grave they may seem at the time.